here's the reality. When it comes to your case, we are going to include you as much or as little as you want to be included. It's, it's that simple. Whether it's a correspondence or anything like that, I mean, we're going to put together this entire package of information for them to review. And before we do that, you know, we are going to make sure that you have had the opportunity to evaluate it and to give the, the thumbs and the seal of approval on sending it out because we don't want to send things out without your approval. So this isn't something that happens behind a closed door from you. This is something that we include you in. This is a process that we include you in. I mean, this is your life. This is your liberty at stake. And, you know, you get to decide how you want the case resolved. And if we don't put together your your vision and the way that you want this done appropriately, then you need to let us know that it's not gonna happen that way. And that way we can make adjustments and we can make things better for you. Right now our goal, right now our goal is to stay out of trial. Um, even if we have a good case, going to trial is a crapshoot. You can never get a guarantee from a trial. I have been in cases where I have great evidence and lost the case. I've been in cases where I have evidence and I've won the case. You know, it, it doesn't matter. You're putting your case in front of a jury of people who you've never, yeah, you've never met them before. And these people are going to decide the fate of your case. I mean, that's where it is. This is why I always tell my clients, you need to evaluate this between risk and reward. Is it, you know, are you willing to risk losing? And my clients who are willing to risk losing are the ones who are willing to risk going to trial. Because if you're not willing to lose, then you shouldn't be willing to go to trial. And that, I think, is the hardest thing for people to recognize when it comes to, you know, do you take your case to trial or not? The system is so overwhelmed with cases right now that there aren't enough judges to hear the cases. And as a result of that, things just get delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed, and we just don't have the opportunity to, to get them. So you get fit in when you can. Holly and I are talking about trespassing to get your shit and how you're allowed to do that. I think you are. I think yeah. you're allowed. There's a law that says you're allowed to use self-help to get your own property. Right. So then that's just Yeah, self-help. Right? Ellie, absolutely. I don't know about you, but if you're going to send me a solicitation that you want me, even though I have a 10.0 AVO rating, to be part of your publication, you better get my name right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and on this one, my name is not Christopher, and this guy, Patrick Kelly, wants me to subscribe or be part of his group here and call him up but he didn't get my name right so how should we respond to this let's see type your message my name's not christopher period try again period Customer service is so important. Don't screw these little things up. All right, here we go. It's a road trip for Bullet Coffee. Bullet Coffee. Tea? Bullet Coffee? I'm dead. You sure? No bullet coffee today? No, because well only because I have to go pick up one. What are you doing? I'm filming it. Is that good? If, it, if I don't look it, you better delete it. No, you you're going in. It was good. Alright. It's not Ready? a good cute outfit. Let's go. Wait, hold on, I gotta fix my hair because it has coffee in it. Is that <laughs> better? Yeah, tell us yeah, you can't see the coffee in your hair. You can't because it's kinda sticky no. right here and it's kinda sticking together. You can't, so <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we stop go. by the UPS yeah. store? What's at the UPS store? Uh, we're going to drop off that box. Oh, wait, hey. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Want a bullet coffee? Oh, actually, it's very nice. Maybe? Bullet coffee. Let's just say yes. Sure. Okay, we'll be back with it. Where's the UPS store? I don't know. We have to find the UPS store. I don't know where you get. All right, grab it. Let's take it. Are you sure? Yeah, let's take it. And I'm too 
bring that. That's Show our uh, our viewers. That's why how, I brought it outside. How awesome here. you are when it comes to recycling. Well, we're recycling those. We are recycling our toner cartridges and our soda cans. We don't have a license for that. If you have music in your vlogs, better make sure you have a license for it. Otherwise, they will come after you. A little food for thought. Who's they? They, the copyright police. Oh. Good point. You know why? It's only 98 degrees. All right, where are we going first? Coffee because first? Because the lawyers. Coffee first? Damn lawyers make the most difficult. Coffee first and then? Chatting about cases with uh, good friends, good clients. Look, he's not doing anything. I know, I get it. But listen, I'm only gonna say this one more time. The reality of it is this if you ever decide you wanna go to trial on something, you need to expect that there is an uncertain result involved if that you have to be willing to lose. If you can reach a resolution to the case, if you can reach a settlement, so to speak, then you can control the outcome. You can resolve it on terms that are favorable to you, perhaps. Putting the case in front of a jury, or even a judge for that matter, you don't have a guaranteed result. So you need to find some way to control the outcome and, and do what you can to get the best resolution possible to the case. That's really the best advice that I can offer you. So we're off and done with practice of law today, but uh, we're heading up to school now. Constitution of law. Okay, so here we are at the college. I'm gonna teach uh, constitutional law tonight. Gotta get this going. Lock this out. It's gonna be a late night. Lesson to come out of today, I think, overall. Take your chances in court. I mean, I've preached this a hundred times, I think, over and over and over, you know. Going to court, just, you can't control the outcome. I think part of the objective in a case is controlling what outcomes you can, and trying to prevent things that are unexpected from happening. If you can control the outcome in a case, that's gonna give you the best chance of success, obviously. You know, the last thing you wanna do is put things in hands of people who, you know, you get, take the control out of your hand. So, you know, control what you can about a case. Don't take unnecessary risks. If you like this video, please like it, please subscribe. 
Please watch our other videos. Have a great night. Good luck.